Uh, where did I park that Havoc? It's a very small helicopter. Oh, there it is. Uh-oh. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Cinematic flying is always a pain. Oh, those views help. There we go. This should be good. Touchdown. All right. Hello there, everybody. Welcome back. I'm the Missing Saga, and welcome back from more Grand Theft Auto Online. So here we are at the Fort Zancudo Air Base. And uh, today we're going to go over a new helicopter for us, the uh, Buckingham Velatus. Yeah. So why get the Velatus? Well, for me, I'm getting it. Uh, we just finished those la that laid back grinding um, days ago there in the last episode. And I uh, kind of feel like getting some some rich bug, rich guy, kingpin bling. <laughs> you got to get that sometimes, right? Some luxury helicopters, some luxury cars. So it's kind of sort of a Lamborghini in helicopter shape. <laughs> But the other reason I'm getting it, the practical, useful reason I'm getting it, is that it's part of the CEO menu. So I'm going to go into there right now. So you go into your interaction menu for any newbies out there, and go to your company once you have one, Secure Surf, register as a CEO, and then we're going to go down to, well, back up to Secure Surf once once you're in, it's at the top, and go to your CEO vehicles, and this is the CEO vehicles list. Now many of these vehicles have a price, like the traded limo, which I have not bought. So because I have not purchased it, it's $20,000. Very expensive. Now I just bought the uh, Velatus the other day at the end of the last sale. I think it had 40% uh, off. It's normally $2.2 million and 95,000. So almost $2.3 million. Um, and it's normally $10,000 to spawn it in here if you don't own it. Once you own it, it becomes free. And apparently you actually need to have an office. I did not know that, but the notes say that you actually, it's an actually an office perk. Little did I know that once you buy an office, it becomes available. Yeah, so did not know that. I'm not sure if they've updated that to change, but that's what it says. Yeah. So in the uh, menu here, as you guys can see, there's only so many air vehicles. There is no uh, aircraft. There's no, um, I should say, planes. So no jets, no planes, but there is some helicopters to help you get around. Now the famous, most useful one of all is the buzzard. And we're gonna spawn that in right now. So there's our buzzard over there. Let's go bring it over here. That's a little farther away. So as you guys can see, that's the usefulness of the CEO buzzard is that it immediately spawns in. So very useful for newbies. Um, you know, in many ways, this is all you really need to get around. You know, now I definitely recommend getting more, but really you can get by pretty much everything with just a buzzard. Now that said, you want to get faster and faster is more money, you know, and better weaponry is more protected and, uh, you know, less likely to lose things. So you do upgrade over time, but the buzzard still stays useful as a backup vehicle in your CEO menu. You know, you have to remember that you don't have access to your motorcycle club when you're in your CEO menu. Maybe you're running crates, maybe you're doing a crate salt mission. So uh, at that point in time, your only backup vehicles quickly in an instant, like you just see me spawn it, is the uh, CEO menu. So the advantages of the CEO menu is that it's free once you own it, uh, after you buy it, of course. <laughs> and then it, the other advantage is that it spawns right near you, as quick as, as close as it can, really. In some places, it, it spawns very, very close. You know, much closer than uh, than uh, the Pegasus uh, vehicles, which you have to go to the closest helipad, helipad for, or, or airport. And much closer than the um, uh, than the personal aircraft, which, you know, if you know the spawn points, you can go right to them. But otherwise, they're usually not too far away, but they're not right close by. The CO stuff will spawn right near you, as close as it can, even inside the airbase here. So, yeah, that's our CEO buzzard here. Now, I did. I said I did buy that, so I'll show you guys, maybe I'll just show you guys the footage from when I bought that the other day on sale. So we'll have a look at that, and then we'll come right back. <laughs> just a moment. Yeah, bought it from my office. <laughs> All right, welcome back guys. Just finished that laid back grinding and I'm realizing that I'm running out of time for the end of the event week. So I think I'm going to buy these now while they're still on sale and uh, and that way we can uh, still go through with them because I've kind of got my mind set on buying them anyway. <laughs> so uh, if you guys want them on sale, hopefully you already bought them or you can wait for the next sale. These vehicles do show up often on sales, especially these ones where we're going to be getting. So uh, hopefully you guys can get them then. And they're not too bad of a price, I suppose, but they are expensive kind of luxury vehicles, I suppose. <laughs> okay, well, let's see, we got our Alitas shirt on, so we're going to go to Alitas first. Alitas first class, and then there's Alitas. There's first class, and then there's Alitas. The difference between flying private and commercial is like trying to compare a stretch limousine to a Guatemalan prison bus. <laughs> All right, and there's what we're going to get, the Velatus. All right. And uh, I can barely read that, but I think I got a note for it. Yeah, the Vladis is usually 2,295,000. That's what that little X is going through. 
and we can get it on sale right now just at the last sale last uh, hour or two I think <laughs> and uh, it's 40% uh, off for me although hopefully you guys can get it on the next sale if you haven't already for uh, 1.3 million and 77,000 and this is not a must-have vehicle I'd recommend this only if you have the extra money to to afford getting it um, it is kind of handy because it's one of the only four helicopters um, that are available in the CEO uh, quick spawn menu so that's the main reason I'm getting it and we'll go through that when we go through the episode part of finance felony seats four all right the sleekest aerodynamics on the market Dell Swept Blades, Fandel Rotor. And when you're coming off a weekend's team building catamine workshop, there's no more costly way to move at immense speed and perfect comfort and near total silence. This is the real business class. <laughs> the Buckingham. Very cool. Buy it now. All right. Well, there goes a bunch of the money we just made. Almost $1.4 million. Just on a little luxury toy. But that's the way it is with luxury. And I realized I actually did not have a luxury helicopter unless you count the one attached to my yacht. So I kind of have one with the yacht, but at the same time, you can't really use that like a normal helicopter. You can only call them in close by by your, by your yacht or leave on it. So it's not the same thing as a, as a regular one. Woohoo. We've got the Velatus. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So... Yeah, the Buckingham Velatus. Now, I keep wanting to call it the Velitus, but that's actually this one over here. So, the CEO menu, as we were saying, there is only four um, uh, helicopters available. And I'm going to call in mine right now so we can have a look at them all together. And we're going to call it a Pegasus one first. When you first order these older, older helicopters. Hello, this is Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? It's usually best to... Uh, it's usually the main way that you get them is through Pegasus, and then you can bring it into your hangar from there if you have one. Lotus. Great. The aircraft is waiting for you at our nearest airfield. We trust you'll be happy, sir. Oh, that is not close at all. Sometimes it spawns right over here. Not today. Not today. <laughs> Let's take a run. I still like the airbase. At sunset. Yeah, so those are the four vehicles so that are in the CEO menu. We have the Havoc, that's the small one back there that we're going to see. The, um, uh, the, the Buzzard that we were talking about. And the, uh, the uh, Super Valido that you see me fly in on from my, uh, from my, my uh, yacht. Now it's actually interesting, this is my first luxury helicopter. I didn't even realize it until I was looking up that we don't have any luxury helicopters. Well, we do kind of half own one. Um, it comes with our yacht, but as many people know, it's kind of stuck with the yacht. You can't use it everywhere. You can only call in your yacht helicopter when you're nearby to the nearby shore of your yacht. So it's uh, not the same thing as owning one. So here it is. Very cool. Very sleek. Definitely looks nice. Yep. Yeah. You can see the real life resemblances. A lot of people think uh, in this uh, resembles the real life um, or has influences from the real life uh, Eurocopter EC-155 and the Airbus H-160. Yeah, the EC-155, Eurocopter EC-155 and Airbus H-160. Very cool. And it definitely looks like it. And definitely looks like luxury. Just, just has that right shine and smoothness to it. Looks sleek and fast. Let's fly it over. Now, of those four helicopters that are in the CEO menu, the fastest is this one. So on a straight line, this is the fastest one. So there's uh, currently 17 helicopters in the game, if I'm not mistaken. It might be a couple more. I don't think there's been any more added, but 17 helicopters. And of those 17 um, in top speed, this is first, believe it or not. The Akula is right behind it, though. And lap speed, this is fifth. So it's not necessarily as as uh, maneuverable necessarily. So you know if you if you win in a straight run line across the map, this is the fastest helicopter. But if you were doing circles, kind of like a race, I don't know who does helicopter races, but if you did helicopter races, you would find that it comes in about fifth. So there are helicopters that will definitely beat it, like uh, the Golden Swift Deluxe, believe it or not. Yeah, is actually a very good helicopter, and of course the Akula, that which we, that which we love. But those helicopters are not part of the CEO menu. This one is. So as we're tracking uh, landing gear, I'm going to pull it out. And you do need to watch out for it. The biggest complaint about this helicopter is that it likes to fall over. It does not land very nicely. But thankfully, I'm kind of used to that. 
Oh, it looks like my yacht helicopter's already disappeared. The Super Valido. Oh no. Oh yeah, yeah, it did. I was thinking maybe I flew it off, but no, I didn't. It's too bad. See what I mean about the yacht helicopter? It's not quite yours. It likes to disappear on you. Hmm, because I'm far away from the yacht. Anyway, just to give you guys the comparison, the buzzard over there um, is uh, ninth in top speed, and in lap speed is 10th. And again, that's out of 17. So it's not too bad. Our little Havoc over there, the little Havoc that you can get, is a uh, top speed of 8th and a lap speed of 4th. And the Havoc is slightly faster than the uh, Presser Mark II, so interesting to note. Now, the Presser Mark II, though, you can get on and go quickly, so sometimes it depends on distance. I find if you're going anywhere, like, halfway across the map, you're better off with uh, with something faster than the Presser Mark II or something. And then, of course, the uh, Super Valido that disappeared on us, the, uh, the yacht one. Um, that one, if you actually purchased it, is available in the CO menu, and that has a top speed in 7th out of 17th and lap time of 6th. So, all in all, I thought this was the best one for us to get from the CEO menu. For use with teammates, for uh, for use when I feel like uh, being a kingpin, riding in luxury. <laughs> and when I have more people around. Another good thing about the CEO menu is to spawn in stuff for uh, for other players, for random players, people who have crashed. You know, maybe you're flying by on your Oppressor Mark II, but you can spawn these in for them. And then they're, they're there, because your Oppressor Mark II can only fit one. And they might not have one, or, you know what I mean. It's nice to have extra vehicles. Yeah, that is our Valido. Let's take it into the into our hangar right here and see what we can do with it, which I think is just paint job. <laughs> Apparently this is a uh, small hangar in the vehicle, so it doesn't take up much room on the floor. And a bunch of helicopters. So I put a bunch of them out for you guys. <laughs> yeah, our... Uh, Valkyrie over there, which is another good team play vehicle with, with weapons. So no weapons on this, no countermeasures, which is kind of a complaint. I really wish that uh, Rockstar, nowadays that we have all these weaponized vehicles, they really should add countermeasures um, to things. I think even the tanks should get countermeasures and smoke and things. Like, it's easily done. They've already got the, uh, the, the tools in the game from other things, so it could easily be applied. And I don't think it's overpowered at all by, by today's standards, you know, being that there's so many other things to throw at you, right? This could use some flares or some chaffs, if you ask me. All right, Charlie, let's respray it. So this is my personal helicopter in my hangar. It's interesting, uh, just to uh, note, the CEO one shows up in black always with black tinted windows. So uh, that's the main one I'll probably be using. I don't know how often I'll be using my personal one here. But it does have a uh, primary and secondary color. Oh, that actually looks all right, Chrome. Hmm, maybe the best looking aircraft I've seen in Chrome. <laughs> yeah, metals. Brushed steel, brushed black steel, brushed aluminum, pure gold, and brushed gold. So you can have your own version of a golden helicopter. Matte finishes if you want to give it a sleek black look. Even for your personal one. Yep, yeah, reds. Which I might go with. I kind of like the red and blacks. Kind of like our Super Valido from the Odd has. It's nice, nice uh, color scheme. Let's have a look at that secondary color. What's that? Yeah, so that's your, your top rotor there. And it looks like that's the main parts, so mainly around the body here, the middle body and the top rotor. Don't really see any other changes. Hmm. Yeah, it almost has a two-tone effect, if you guys see that, too. Like, even though it's one primary color, see the shades? Like, it's... It has a, another tone that we can't quite get to. If you ask me, you can see it showing up there. Hmm, interesting. It'd be nice if we could access it, but... Yeah, lots of sleek paint jobs. Green. Yeah, I don't know for this one. I'm thinking about the black looks nice, and I'm thinking about that red and black. But there's actually, with that two-tone effect, there's actually a few different different looks that are alright. For a more military look. Blowing 
or for your office colors or for your favorite colors. Yeah, it's drop around. And the ice white. Frost white. Hmm. It's strange that the whole thing becomes one tone when you do that. But I kind of like it. Still thinking. Yeah, I am. I am, Charlie. Sorry. Still thinking. But I do like how that's all one tone like that. I wonder, does the tan do something like that? No, it doesn't. Hmm. Well. And I do like that chrome look, oddly enough. But I think I might actually give it a cream. And let's see if we can darken it a little bit with black, but no, apparently you cannot. It changes that tone if I do. Hmm, interesting. So you got to keep it that way. Okay, let's see the secondary then. That's already a metallic black. Go for something luxury business. Maybe. Wood peach brown. Bison brown. Mm. Gold. <laughs> it's not very gold compared to the metals, though, is it? That definitely looks more gold. or the black. Hmm. Yeah, lots of good interesting color schemes. But I'm not going to take too much time on it. <laughs> I already have, I guess. But I think maybe that Dan dulls it just a little bit, but still keeps that kind of rich look. Something like the tan or maybe the dark earth. Yeah, I do like it a little bit darker. But I do like how it kind of goes together. I wonder what a full cream one looks like too. So that's all cream. Which isn't bad either. But I think I like that offset color just a little bit. So I think we're gonna go with the Desert Dan. Yeah, I changed my mind. Darker, just a little bit darker. <laughs> Thanks, Darley. All right, let's head out. A little bit lighter than I usually get, but it is for uh, luxury business after all. Whoa. <laughs> that's what I get for cinematic driving. <laughs> but that's also the landing gear that they were talking about, so you do want to land it carefully. Let's see if I can just land it quickly. Let's come around. Because I think things like the Havoc have given me lots of practice. But I think the Havoc's actually kind of worse. Yeah, it doesn't have a lot of clearance. And as you guys can see, it scrapes pretty easily. I don't know if it's those little, those little fins that come out there at the bottom or not. Hmm. Do watch out for that flop. That you can have it tip over on you. But I think if it's anything like the Havoc, try to be in the habit of landing and getting out right away. And the Havoc quite often doesn't kill me, <laughs> thankfully. And it doesn't usually top, uh, fall over as long as I get out right away the moment it touches the ground. So let's switch over to the CEO menu. Back to our CEO vehicles. And now uh, we have to get rid of that one, don't we? Mm. Oh, I know what to do with that. Silly me. Retire. And then let's just rejoin again. And then we can get ourselves out a new Velatus. 
which like I said is the main reason I'm getting it is for the uh, for the CEO menu here. Yeah, I thought about the Super Felito there, like our uh, like our office one, but I kind of like this one just because it's slightly faster in the long distance runs. There it is over there. Why walk when you can fly? <laughs> we should go have a look at that interior. Like the other helicopters, it has a nice luxury interior. Maybe we'll not block the runway just in case a fighter jet comes along. <laughs> As you guys can see, it's got uh, access to the internet. You don't need your phone. You can just use it right there. <laughs> and uh, champagne. Yep. Who doesn't like champagne? Luxury seating. Seats four. And here is the cool black CEO version. Yeah, all in matte black. Looks like only a slight uh, tint on these windows. They don't seem as black as the uh, as the buzzards did. Still luxury access. Oh, oh no, no. Right away. There we go. Hold down the button, and you should hop in the back. There we go. Nice. Let's have a drink. Do you guys? <laughs> All right, and our new luxury helicopter from Buckingham. Thanks for being here, everybody. Good stuff. So now you can bring the bar anywhere you want on the map. <laughs> and like I said, it's actually my first luxury helicopter because uh, the one on the yacht doesn't really count, if you ask me. Yeah, and that's the main reason I got the Vladis. So I'm pretty happy with that. Being that I got it on sale, you guys might want to wait for the next sale to get your own. And they're not a must-have vehicle. But I use the CO menu enough that I probably will get some use out of this version. It'd be nice if it had some countermeasures. Yeah. So our testing, I usually, uh, as I've said before, we use the uh, Bruffy 1322's testing. So if any guys want to go to his channel, you can have a look at that, look up the helicopters, and you can see the top speed and the lap speed testing. He keeps the testing simple, which I kind of like, because, uh, you know, a lot of the times there's, there's tricks and things you can do, but... To a lot of people like me, it doesn't really count as part of the top speed or more handling of a vehicle unless you can do it wherever you want kind of thing, right? You know, and sometimes Rockstar fixes things like that, sometimes they don't, so. So I like kind of straightforward testing that gives you the baseline and what to expect. Yeah, it's nice and sleek. Nice and smooth. Makes it look like you're just kind of floating through the air, but you're actually doing a pretty good speed. Yeah, slightly faster than the Akula, believe it or not. That said, the Akula is more, um, uh, uh, how do I say it, uh, sporty, more, uh, uh, better handling, yeah. So in many ways, the Akula will keep up, maybe even pass you, unless you go on a straight line across the map. The game is a very strange game. <laughs> Yeah, I'm happy with that. Very cool. Let's have a look at our instruments. Nice luxury cockpit. All our dials right there. Vertical speed. Directions. Our altitude in the top right. Yep, got airspeed right there. Nice and easy to read. Right now we're getting close to well, over 130, so we're getting close to the 140 miles per hour. 140 knots, I should say. Awesome. Can we see in the back? Yep. So your uh, your minions can check in on you. Too bad you can't close the window on them. <laughs> All right, and that's the Vladis, and still a useful vehicle, even though it came in a while ago with the uh, further adventures and finance and DLC or finances and felony DLC a long time ago. But like I said, I would only get it if you have the extra money to afford it, and maybe when it's on sale again next time. 
and if you use the CEO menu enough like I do. Sometimes it's nice having those backup vehicles or vehicles for other people. Let's head over to the Maze Bank Tower. And I should change. <laughs> Yeah, I almost wish they'd let me have a secondary office. I know that's just wasting money, but I'd like to have the uh, the Maze Bank Tower as my second office. That'd be kind of cool. As a secondary office. Can I enter there? Nope. <laughs> it was an optical illusion. We weren't there. We weren't actually where we thought. And this is a terrible helicopter to do this with, but we can do it. We can do it. It's an altitude. We can do it. Gotta have a good landing. Gonna go to all this trouble. It should be in the middle. There we go. <laughs> good enough. All right. Woohoo. All right. Well, thanks for being here, everybody. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. But most of all, thanks for just being here. And big thanks and love to all our Patreon supporters out there. I'm gonna change my style. And I'll see you guys again next time for uh, more vehicles, more laid back grinding, and more. Yeah. But you gotta reward yourself sometimes after all that laid back grinding. Make yourself feel like you, you've earned it, right? <laughs> Take care, everybody. See you again next time. I'm heading off to the yacht. More drinks. Got to get a pilot. <laughs> yeah, this vehicle will sometimes, if you call for a luxury helicopter, which is another uh, CEO option. Yeah, re request luxury helicopter for five grand. This helicopter will sometimes show up for you. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing that. <laughs> it's a good way to waste some more money. But it is a way to get across the map pretty fast, too. See you again soon, everybody. started drinking yet. <laughs> Yay. All right. Now we're looking the part. Take care, buddy. See you soon. Hmm. Happy uh, holiday week. I'm good. I'm good. I gotta fly. Some people say Americans have no style, or taste, or class, but I say no, not all of them. <laughs> well, there you go. I think she means, uh, means us. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>